Hey kids, welcome to Kids Life Online. My name is James. And my name is Ashley and we are so excited you are joining us today. This month we are learning all about tough stuff. Tough stuff is anything that you might go through that makes you feel scared or it might be difficult or hard. And the truth is we all feel like that sometimes. The real question we're going to talk about today is what do we do when we feel this way? And before we answer that, let's answer this quick question to get to know each other a little bit more. What is the funniest or weirdest dream you remember having? Hmm. I think the weirdest dream I've had is that I won long jump in the Olympics. Wow, that's a pretty wild dream. And we're going to hear about some wild dreams later today in our amazing Bible story. But before we check that out, let's check out our big idea for today. Our big idea is when stuff is tough, I can keep doing good things for God. Let's say that all together on three. Are you ready? One, two, three. When, when stuff, stuff is tough, tough I can, can keep, keep doing good, good things, things for God. God. Great job. Sometimes tough stuff happens because of a choice we make, but there are also times when it's completely out of our control. But whatever tough stuff we face, we can remember that we can choose the attitude we have and how we respond. We can always keep doing good things for God. Now I have a verse that is great to remember when we face tough stuff. Our memory verse today is found in a book of the Bible called Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Jeremiah writes all about the plans God has for you and your future. The verse says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In this verse, it's God talking. These are words God says, and He says He has a good plan for us. This verse gives us hope because of this promise. And when we hold on to this promise, we can do good things for God because we know He has good things planned for us. Now let's learn our memory verse together by singing and dancing to Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future.
Wow, that is such a great verse from the Bible. And it tells us all about the good plans that God has for us. They are to give you a hope and a future. Hope is when we can feel something good will happen because God is good and He promises to make all things good. Sometimes the good plans He has for us will be done now and sometimes we have to wait. But His perfect plan for us will be fulfilled one day in heaven. So let's not forget, even when stuff is tough, God loves us and He has good things planned for you and me. Now it's time to check out someone who faced more tough stuff than the average person. His name is Joseph. Let's watch this Bible story now and pay attention to the stuff, the stuff tough, the stuff tough, the tough stuff he went through, and more importantly, how he reacted to it. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. Joseph in Egypt. This is Joseph, hey, who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. He was his father's favorite, so his brothers hated him、oh. and sold him into slavery.、Yep. You see, Joseph was taken to Egypt,、Ooh. and Potiphar, one of the pharaoh's officials, bought him for his household. God was with Joseph, and he did well in Potiphar's house. Oh. Potiphar saw that God made everything Joseph did a success. Aha! So he put Joseph in charge of his whole house. Yeah! And God blessed Potiphar's house because of this. Potiphar's wife saw how well Joseph was doing in the house, and she wanted to make him do bad things. Joseph ran away from her because he wanted nothing to do with someone who would try to make him do the wrong thing. This made Potiphar's wife angry, and she wanted to be rid of Joseph. So she lied and made Potiphar believe that Joseph had done the bad things that she wanted him to do. Potiphar burned with anger against Joseph and sent him to prison.、Uh. While Joseph was in prison. Dum, 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 dum. Hmm? Again, he did well, and the warden soon made him responsible for all that was done there. God was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. When two full years had passed, Pharaoh was having unsettling dreams. Pharaoh did not understand his dreams, so he sent for Joseph. Hey, Pharaoh asked Joseph to tell him the meaning of his dreams. With God's help, Joseph told Pharaoh that the dreams told of what could come in the future, and he explained all the dreams to the Pharaoh. Pharaoh believed that what Joseph was saying was true. He trusted Joseph as a wise man, and he put him in charge of the land of Egypt, of Pharaoh's palace, and of all his people. Wow! Can you imagine going through all that Joseph went through in life? But what I thought was cool was how Joseph reacted to it. He chose to keep doing good things for God, even when it was tough. Instead of letting his feelings decide how he would act, Joseph did his best to continue doing good things when there were tough stuff. Think about how you respond to tough situations. Do you have a good attitude or a bad attitude? Yeah, Joseph shows us that we have a choice with how we respond and the attitude we have when stuff feels tough. We can choose to keep doing our best to honor God with everything we say, think. And what everything that we do. It reminds me about a time when I lost the grand final of my baseball tournament when I was growing up. Even though I was super bummed out, I decided I wouldn't let that ruin my day. I chose instead to have a good attitude and still have a good time. Speaking of losses, we've got a new episode of one of my favourite shows, Versus. This week we'll meet Matt and Abby and check out today's challenge: who will win and who will lose. Let's find out.
Hey, I'm Matt. And I'm Abby. And we've been friends for years. And we're always looking for new ways to one-up each other. Over the course of this series, we're going to take on challenges to make new memories and win. Well, actually win nothing, but it sure is going to be a great time. This is Versus. all too well that I'm the best at Mario Kart because we've been playing this with our friends for years and I usually win. Today I thought we'd even the odds with a low-tech twist on the classic video game. The rules are simple. Both players will launch their racers at the same time and see who can be the first to complete six laps around the course. There's just one thing. Each player can knock their opponent off the course with this little button here. Think you can handle that? Uh, you know, your days of beating me in Mario Kart are over. First, we have to pick out erasers. I'll be Mario, of course. Mario's overrated. Uh, I'm gonna be Yoshi. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Let's race! Let's go. 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 <laughs> See, Mario's just not that great. Oh, 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 oh. Go. 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 Oh, oh! <laughs> Okay, I win. hold up, hold up. That was way too fast. I say best two out of three. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> One, two. Oh no, Yoshi! Yoshi! <laughs> no, no, no. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, no! Oh, man. I won. Okay, 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 it's all right. You won, I won, last one. One more time. Winner takes it all. <laughs> and one, two, three, go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> go, 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 Yoshi, go, 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 go! Oh, I knocked him off. <laughs> Here we go, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Two out of three means I'm the winner. Uh, move aside, Abby. Mario Kart has a new champion. It's not even the real game. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. I want fair and square, and according to the rules, the winner must be crowned. You've got to be kidding. All right, bring out the belt. Bring out the belt. I am the champion. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh man, it feels so good to win today. I mean, check this belt out, it is awesome. But if I'm gonna be honest, I mean, no one really likes to lose, right? It's human nature. Nobody plays sports because they wanna see the other team win, but losing isn't always a bad thing. After a loss, you're faced with a choice. Do you give up or do you go on? Will you have a good attitude or a bad attitude? See, how you respond to the tough stuff shows a lot about who you are and what you believe. The truth is, life is full of tough stuff. You know, the, the things that might feel scary, difficult, or hard. It can be anything from getting sick to a friend moving away or losing a loved one. The longer life goes on, the more tough stuff you will face. In the Bible, Joseph had it pretty good early on in his life. He was his dad's favorite son. He was spoiled with special gifts like a coat of many colors, but he still faced some tough stuff. First, his brothers sold him into slavery, and after that, he was falsely imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. In a short span of time, Joseph went through more than most of us ever will. But Joseph chose to keep doing good things God's way. Eventually, his life turned around in a major way. You see, when Pharaoh had a dream that made no sense at all to anyone, it was Joseph who saved the day. With God's help, Joseph successfully explained what the dreams meant. Pharaoh rewarded him by placing him in a position of power to rule over Egypt as his second in command. No matter what Joseph faced or how he was feeling, he continued to do good things. God worked out Joseph's tough stuff for his good plans. Through Joseph, God was able to save all of Egypt and all of Joseph's family, including the entire nation of Israel. How Joseph responded to the tough stuff teaches us a lot about how we can handle the tough stuff in our life too. Like Joseph, we can't always help what happens to us, but we can control how we respond. I'm sure you have all gone through times that made you afraid or lonely or sad. You probably know already that sometimes life isn't very fair, but I hope that when you do go through tough stuff, 
you would remember that God cares about you and he has a good plans for you. Maybe next time you face some tough stuff, instead of getting mad or frustrated, maybe pause and think of one good thing you can do in that moment. Uh, for example, you can give a smile to someone or say thank you to God about something good in your life today. You might be surprised how a simple thing like that can help you. Or maybe you choose to stop and, and pray to God. Tell Him how you are feeling and ask Him to help you get through whatever tough stuff you got. We can trust that God will make things right, either here on earth or up in heaven. Believing this helps you get through the toughest of things. Well, anyways, I, I've got to get going, but Abby and I will be back next week with a new challenge. Hopefully, I can keep my bell right here, but we'll just have to wait and see. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Matt was the champion, but I love that in his victory speech, he reminded us that whether you win or whether you lose, you can still have a good attitude and honor God with your actions. And that's exactly what we see Joseph doing in our Bible story. Life was hitting him hard time after time, but he didn't act out in anger or treat people badly or have a bad attitude. He worked hard and helped others. God was with him and God is with you too. How you respond to this tough stuff in life shows a lot about who you are and what you believe. The tough stuff you face might feel scary, difficult or hard, but we all can choose to pause and think of one good thing that we can do in that moment. Now let's say our big idea all together one more time. Are you ready? One, two, three. When, when stuff, stuff is tough, tough, I can keep, keep doing good things for God. God. Great job. Choosing a good attitude and continuing to do good things for God can help you get through the toughest of things. We hope you've had a great time learning together from the Bible today. Let's finish our time together with a prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much that you love us and thank you so much that you are always with us even when things feel tough, when they're scary, difficult or when it's hard. Please help us in those moments to think of one good thing that we can do, maybe to help others around us or maybe a way we can love and honour you. We thank you so much that you love us and you're always with us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, kids. We hope you had a great time and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video. Parents, if you want to see more of our Kids Life content, including weekly devotionals, parent guides, and discipleship conversations you can have with your kids, download the ParentQ app today and sync with New Life Church. We want to see you become the parent you want to be and see you raise kids in faith and character who become more like Jesus. So download the ParentQ app today to access all of our Kids Life content.